Welcome to PV Magazine Live. This is Christian Rosland, America's editor at PV Magazine, and we're here at the Intersolar Europe trade show in Munich. I'm joined by Stefan Lisa from Fraunhofer ESA. Stefan, thanks for speaking with me. Hi, Christian. And so, we know Fraunhofer ESA for a lot of the work that they have done over the years advancing the solar industry, many different things, analysis of energy systems. Uh, one of the additional things that Fraunhofer ESA does is to develop prototype products and to advance the industry in this way. Uh, today we're talking about the Net Efficient, which is a battery inverter. Stefan, can you tell me a little bit about the Net Efficient and how this project came about? All right. Uh, what you can see in the back, Christian, is a modular battery inverter concept. Um, where one unit, which you just see there, has 125 kVA power. And the special thing what we have done there is we built up a modular concept, means that we put together eight of these units in one rack so that we get at the end uh, a megawatt battery inverter in the size of basically an American fridge. That's amazing. Now, a megawatt is a lot that's a lot of power conversion. And I understand that one of the ways that you did this was through the use of silicon carbide components. Can you talk a little bit about the technical advances in this? Okay, as you mentioned, of course, one is silicon carbide, which allows us to use higher switching frequencies. And through that, we, can, we are able to shrink the passive components and therefore we get a higher power density. Um, one advantage of a modular concept is, or in that case, is that we have a hot swap capable inverter, which means that when one unit is broken, that we can exchange one unit during operation and we just lose one-eighth of the power of the complete system. And so, you know, this, the development of these prototypes, is, it's, this is interesting work for Fraunhofer Issa. How does this move the industry forward? Um, as you can see here, we built up showcases just to show the industry what is already feasible today. Um, therefore, of course, we are trying to use new to uh, technologies like silicium carbide or, or even gallium nitride. And with, it, with this kind of transistors, we are able to uh, increase switching frequencies and, as I said, to shrink passive components, which hires the power density, of course. And Fascinating. So, you know, this is obviously, this is for a battery, this is a battery inverter, and we're here at the Intersolar Europe Solar Trade Show. Can you talk a little bit about how, we're, you know, it seems like we're moving beyond solar into an ecosystem of, of products. Can you talk a little bit about that? Of course. Um, in the future, we will, of course, need um, also battery inverters, because in times where you have no sun, no wind, you need to store your energy somewhere and that's the reason why as you also can see here at the uh, fair that more and more systems come into the market um, which provide battery power basically and the good thing on battery um, systems is that we can store the energy when the sun is shining when the wind is blowing and if none of this works we can restore the energy out of the battery Excellent. Yes, and Fraunhofer ESA has done a lot of work on the integration of high levels of renewable energy, which I think is one of the more fascinating things that you've, that you've done. Anyway, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. Thank you, Christian. And this is Christian Roseland with PV Magazine.